Live it, love it. My GC. Thousands of animals are treated right here at the Corumban Wildlife Hospital every single year. And as part of our Wildlife Wednesday on mygec.com.au, we're going to be sharing some of their stories with you. All right, Mike, <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> this, this is a bit of a, a different story. <laughs> Very um, different. <laughs> we came across uh, these carpet python eggs. Now, um, they're in the wild and they're unattended and um, the mother should stay coiled around them until okay. they hatch out. And um, So these are actually brought into us and we've been incubating these eggs. So these little guys are how old now, Tash? Two days. Just two days old. Yeah, so they, how many of them are there? It's a total of 15. Wow. Areas, yeah. And, and look, yeah, all snakes to me are wonderful. Yeah, these guys <laughs> are the guys you definitely want in your backyard. Really? You know, okay, so these guys aren't venomous. Not at They're all. They're not going to bite not you. Not at all. And not at all. How big do these guys get? Oh, look, these guys will grow to quite a large size, three, four metres long. Wow, okay. So, um, and they, they love mice and rats, you know, that's that's their prize thing they love to eat. And um, look, you, you know, if you've got no mice and rats around your place at home, you're going to have some of these guys there, you know, they're oh, keeping the numbers okay. down. And the, the good thing is if you have carpet pythons hanging around your place, because it keep, gets rid of the mice, the rats, the feed, it keeps away those other snakes like the, the eastern nasty browns. Ones. You know, these are the good guys, you, you want them around. You know, they're fantastic. We keep them until they start eating, so we'll just make sure they all have something to eat, and then they're on their way, so, yeah, you know. And it's very vulnerable, of course, when they're first released, yeah, and there's imagine. a lot of kookaburras out there that love to eat these little guys. Um, but certainly, if people come across an unattended nest, yeah, by all means, contact ourselves, and, and we can help. Obviously, we, we treat so many wildlife cases here in the hospital, and um, these little guys are just a, you know one of the species we help out. But um, truly, any any donation makes such a difference to the work we do, and um, being able to provide care for all the animals.